when we are struggling to focus on our divine purpose because of family dynamics, there's there can be two things happening. The first of which is the family dynamic could actually be initiating you into your divine purpose. So say, you know, for example, um, there's this incredible movie, Horse Boy, um, and it's about this child, uh, this son who is autistic and his family go goes on this world journey to try to bring healing to his son, which brings him to Mongolia, where they end up meeting Mongolian horse shamans. And they discover that horse therapy, equine therapy actually uh, provides this like space of healing and empowerment for artistic children. And then, you know, then they make this documentary movie about it. I mean, that's the most classic, amazing example of a family dynamic that literally there's this child was like an, at an extreme spectrum of autism. Like they didn't have a moment to themselves as parents. And in the journey of being fully present with their child, a film got produced that changed the world's understanding of both autism and equine therapy, as well as Mongolian shamanism. So it's just like, when we're really curious about what's right in front of us and what's calling us to be fully present with, we'll discover that there's an enormous amount of medicine there that might be connected to our divine purpose. So, you know, if it's your children, maybe there's something related to your children that's a part of your leadership or how you're here to serve or advocate for. Um, if it's your parents or elderly, if it's your brother, sister, husband, wife, it's like, it could be connected to how you're, you're going to end up helping other couples, um, other people with elderly parents. It's like, we're all connected. Our divine purpose isn't somehow separate from our connection to one another. Um, everybody, everybody's divine purpose is multifaceted and multi-perspected. It's, it's not, it's not just one thing where you just do the one thing. And then we did the thing for God. We said we were going to do, it's just like, there's so many, our, our divine purpose is a tapestry of our interests. It's a tapestry of our talents. And, and it's also a tapestry of the compassionate roles we've come here to play. And the wisdom that we receive when we show up to loving one another, how that then gets presented as something helpful for the clients and community that we came here to serve. So let's be, let's continue to deconstruct our ideas about what divine purpose means um, because our family members and our closest relationships are always a part of inspiring our next steps in our divine purpose. It is important to examine if there is a codependent relationship with a family member that you are using to hide from your divine purpose. So that that's another question that you want to ask yourself. We have a course called Transforming Trauma into Soul Power that can really help with those kind of questions. The more we embody our higher selves, the more we get to discover how much we're actually hiding from our higher selves' divine purpose. Um, and to have a lot of compassion and self-forgiveness and self-love, um, that's where the Ascended Masters come in to mentor us, that it's okay to discover we might be using our parenting as a way to opt out of our leadership or, or, or our care for an elder or our marital conflicts to not fully show up to what our higher self was, is prompting us to, if we can forgive ourselves and start the process of being curious of how to step outside that codependency, then we can step into the creativity that's calling us into our empowerment. Your divine purpose is always calling you into those very edgy places of your empowerment. 